Welcome to video 2 on the creation of a model railway. In this episode we'll have a look at table design. This is the layout that we finalized in the previous video. This quarter circle is the door and then over here we have a bridge on hinges so that we have access to this inverted C-shaped walking space. And it seemed like a good idea to yeah, design the table in a 3D program just to see how it looks because we, we need all these round organic shapes. There is no, no square point on these tables. A lot of sewing has to take place and it might be a good plan to have the drawing of where the saw needs to go on the wooden plate. Fusion 360 is the design tool that I prefer and this is the end result of the wood structure that we intend to build. Uh, over here in front we see the bridge on hinges with the uh, door and then there's a, uh, an up ramp uh, from here to the upper table here at the north and uh, yeah that upper table extends all the way over the peninsula uh, here in the middle the upper table this is the upper table uh, all the way on the peninsula but of course we have to also go down again from this upper table back to the lower table and that's taken care of here with this ramp which is a three degree ramp so that yeah that should be fine we don't expect troubles with that um, well let's have a look how this was designed and more particularly how we can transfer this into a sewing jig the start is a drawing of the floor space uh, with the of course the exact dimensions and once we have that drawing we can do a couple of extrusions to create the floor create the walls and create a door where's my door here and well then we have the basic uh, room ready and uh, now the question is how can we uh, make that drawing of the wooden table well, for that we import the drawing of the layout and use it as a so-called canvas. And here it is. Here is the layout. Uh, it's now on the floor and we can now create the shape of the table around these tracks. With the canvas in view, uh, the tracks in view, uh, yeah, we can create these uh, organic shapes and for that uh, it's easy to use the spline tool uh, this one uh, because then you can just draw some points and then say this is my curve and now you can grab these green points and move them around so that you can yeah, effectively create any organic shape that you like uh, uh, the less points the smoother the curve is so each of these curves is only two or three points uh, well of course we took care that uh, the table border is uh, yeah, never uh, coinciding with the track itself there's a couple of centimeters space and well actually all that's all there is to it and in this fashion we made this upper table uh, this is a part of it and this and this and also this this is all the upper table so we now have to uh, saw this out of the wooden plates that we have and the plan is to just uh, place those wooden plates on the floor and then over here we see this grid that is a 10 centimeter grid so what we can do is uh, make uh, all these points uh, put them on the wooden plate and then for instance if we want to know exactly where this point is yeah we can measure that by for instance taking a circle and then uh, putting that circle here exactly on that point and then we can read out how many millimeters from the wall this point is 
And when we have oh, when we have placed all these points, then yeah, we are going to play the game from uh, uh, follow the dots. And then we uh, can recreate this curve on the wooden plate. I don't know yet if that is going to work. Maybe we need a carton plate uh, in between to make the drawing on the carting, then cut it out and then use that as a jig on the wooden plate. I don't know yet. We'll have to figure that out uh, in real life what works best. We also have two ramps in the layout. This is the peninsula ramp. Uh, it has a, a inclination of 3% so or 3 degrees I should say. And this one, yeah, it starts here and then here we have this bridge. And then this part that has a, an angle of 2 uh, degrees. So we think that uh, that will be perfectly doable. Then we have this walking area and yeah, we were a little bit concerned about the size. That's why I drew a couple of circles in it. We can see this has a diameter of 75 centimeters. This uh, represents a person. This circle is 50 centimeters and this is the tightest spot. That's only 30 centimeters. So here you, you, yeah, you have to uh, shuffle past this spot a bit and then it starts to become wider 40 centimeters 50 again here it is even 60 centimeters so we think that there's enough floor space or walking space for yeah these two uh, persons to to be around and even three four or maybe five persons can have a come uh, have a look that won't even be a big issue here they are, these two guys uh, with purple shirts. They are the guys standing here in the walking area. Okay, there's a little gadget in uh, Fusion that you can make joints. Uh, so what I did just for fun is uh, have a joint here with the door. Uh, we can open the door to see that there's enough space uh, here with this door. No problems are going to arise. And we also have a joint for the bridge. Let's drive that joint and see that our bridge is opening perfectly well. And yeah, that should be no problem. Uh, here we see that uh, that ramp, that three degree ramp from the upper part, which is 80 millimeters high. Uh, yeah, we, we, we start going down. There's this little problem if this is one piece of wood, if you uh, would place that on an angle, you see it happening over here, that you also get some uh, skew with it. So we don't know yet uh, how thick this plate can be. We need to yeah, figure that out or fill this up a little bit with yeah, some material carton or, or whatever. And uh, I think that uh, will, will work out in practice. And over here you have the same issue again, of course. And then we have this ramp over here, uh, that ramp that starts uh, here with this uh, uh, bridge uh, holding plate, so to speak. And then, uh, yeah, this whole area is, of course, climbing. This is low and here at the left it is high. So we are climbing until at this point we are 80 millimeters up. Should be no problem, but the sawing of all this, yeah, that is going to be a little bit of a challenge. But hey, without a challenge, there's a little fun, isn't there? Uh, so, uh, yeah, this was it. Oh, why am I stopping? This is it with the wood design. And what we need to do now is transfer this drawing to the real wooden plates and then see how the sawing works out. Mm, there will probably be a little video or some photographs of the process of doing that. Maybe see you back there and in the meantime have fun. <laughs>